welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today I'm doing a request by one of my subscribers, the lovely Melody. So thank you for this Melody, really appreciate it. What she asked me was, have I ever used these in my resin? And that is Epsom salts. And I have to be honest, I haven't. I've tried lots of different things in resin, but I haven't tried these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some coasters using the Epsom salts in my resin. I will add different things to the different coasters, but one of them I'll just keep completely naked. Ooh, ah, missus, nudie, nudie. I've got all my resin mixed up now, and what I'm going to do is, that's the cup I'm going to use without anything in. I'm going to put some glitter and some translucent pigment and some mica powder in them to see what happens. I've got equal amounts of resin in each cup so I want to make sure that I put an equal amount of the Epsom salts in so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cup I'm going to draw a line on it and that's how much Epsom salts I'm going to put in there so we so we've got a good idea of how much is going in just going to pop that in there like that give it a mix round so it's completely covered I am going to leave it a few seconds because I want to know if it reacts in any way to the resin. Okay, so there we go. Let's move those to the side and let's pour them. I'm going to pour the clear one first. I'm going to give it another stir and then I'm just going to pour that out. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do one that's got several of the colours in as well. Don't forget to check out the members area. If you click the join button or the link below, it'll give you all the details of all the perks. There's lots of different perks in there. VIP Facebook group, members only live stream, bloopers, additional videos that aren't released on the main channel. Also, if you want to just say thank you for all the experiments and things that I do, and because I do spend quite a lot of money, then check the buy me a coffee link below, also in the description, because every bit helps. Hit that subscribe button. I release videos on a Tuesday, a Thursday, and a Sunday. These have all cured now, which is brilliant. So the quickest way is, let's demold them. They demold easily because I always use, as you know, I always use a mold release in all my molds. It does extend the life of your molds and they're less likely to catch as well. So this is the one with the glitter. I love how that's come out. That has really come out well. It's nice and glossy. The glitter is still easily seen in there. Sorts of the salt have really given it quite a nice effect. Now, what I did do is I don't think I put enough of the salt in and I used too much resin. So maybe now, next time I would do a different ratio. But I actually I quite like that two two-stepped approach to it. I think it looks really nice. So you can use the coaster up that way or that way. So that was the glitter. This was the translucent liquid. And again, that's come out really nice. The mica powder is absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if that's coming out well like that. And you can still see some of the larger chunks. And I think that's come out very nice. I think using this in your geodes and things like this would really add to give it another dimension they're the ones that i did with the leftovers two colors as well there are some quite larger chunks in this but because it's thinner i think that has come out really well now i also wondered what would happen if i ground the salt down using my pestle and mortar and this is the result for that so this is the translucent blue that's the mica powder and that's the just the clear so here we go. Now the mica powder one, I don't think is as is as effective as it with the larger chunks. What do you, I'm not sure what you think, but I do like the finish of it. And the same with the translucent powder. And that's the completely clear one. I definitely think there's a space for this. And I think if I was doing geodes and perhaps some freeform bowls, I would use this. I love it with that glitter. I'm not sure if that glitter's really coming through. No, I never seem to be able to pick it up on camera. 
but I do love how that's come out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Check out the video that's coming up next. That's another experiment I think you'll really like, and I'll see you in the next video.